The T-129 multi-role attack helicopter was jointly developed by Augusto Estland of Italy and Turkish Airspace Industries of Turkey. This program was intended to meet a Turkish Armed Forces requirement for a new attack and reconnaissance helicopter. In 2007 a contract was signed between Augusta Westland and Thai for development of the new attack helicopter. Originally 51 helicopter was ordered with an option for 40 more. Under the agreement Turkey has full marketing and intellectual property rights for the T-129. The first prototype made its first flight in 2009. First operational helicopters were entering service with the Turkish Army in 2013. By 2014 T-129 helicopters were delivered. Turkish Army also operates a fleet of aging A-1 Cobra and AH-1W Super Cobra attack helicopters and is in desperate need for new machines. The T-129 attack helicopter is also being offered for export. The T-129 is a derivative of Italian A-129 Mangusta, modified to suit Turkish needs. It is being assembled in Turkey. This attack helicopter uses Turkish high-tech avionics, weapon systems, mission, computer, self-protection suites and some other systems. The new helicopter also has upgraded engines, transmission and rotor blades. The T-129 is optimized to operate in hot climate and high altitudes. The T-129 uses LHTE CCTS-804 and engines that are manufactured in Turkey under license. It is a version of the T-800 engine developed by Rolls-Royce and Honeywell. The original engine was developed for the U.S. RA-66 Comanche reconnaissance and attack helicopter. After cancellation of the Comanche program this engine found use on other helicopters. The Turkish helicopter has a five-blade main rotor system. The T-129 will be equipped with an advanced avionics suite which includes a dual avionics central control computer, an automatic flight control system, an air data computer an inertial navigation system, a global positioning system, GPS, and a digital moving map. It will also be fitted with a voice encryption system, a data and image transmission system, and a DOS suite with passive and active countermeasures. The T-129 gunship has a 20mm 3-barrel cannon and a nose turret. It can also carry Stinger air-to-air -air missiles or unoperated rockets. The T-129A is an initial production model. Nine of these helicopters were ordered to meet urgent operational requirement. All of these machines were delivered by 2014. Later production helicopters will be able to carry UMTAS advanced anti-tank missiles. These missiles were developed by Rocketson and are similar to Hellfire 2. Later all T-129A helicopters are planned to be upgraded in order to carry these missiles. Turkey also developed for this helicopter an advanced fire control radar. Development was completed in 2012. It is similar to U.S. Longbow, used by AH-64D. The T-129 can climb at a rate of 14 meters per second. Its maximum cruise speed will be 269 kilometers per hour. The normal and ferry range of the helicopter will be 561 kilometers and 1,000 kilometers respectively. The service ceiling of the helicopter will be 6,096 meters.